Big victory tonight for the Lady Bears, 96-79 the final, and uh, standing here now as usual with head coach Cameron Seeley. And Cam, uh, this was complete pretty much from start to finish, uh, holding Livingstone to just 38% from the floor. You guys shot 55%. You look at some of the contributions tonight, of course, 19 from Maddie Sudroth along with six rebounds, 15 for Justice Swingo, 13 for uh, Marie Ritchie, 10 for Kendi Wade, had two threes, so she adds to her three-point total. But this was uh, all around just a great effort, even got – to the point towards the end where you're able to play some of the girls who don't normally get a lot of time. I know everybody was pumped up to see Addison get some shots off. Of course, uh, uh, a lot of good contribution. I also Jackie Denny, who is battling through some injuries, and she's really looking even healthier now, and she's yeah. going to be a big presence as we go. But to start a two-game homestand, probably the best way possible for you to get a win. Absolutely. I, it's, um, it, it was a, a good night for our basketball team. Everyone scored. I went to the locker room and I was like, it's always good when everyone gets to score and we continue what we're supposed to do from start to finish. And we came out in the third quarter and I told them, I was like, don't come out in the third quarter and let them know that they're still in this game. I mm -hmm. told them to be, to be consistent with what we're doing, and they came out and scored 30 in the third. And then we got to play some of the people who don't get to play, and that's always good. And the bench was still good cheering for them, as they always do for us. And uh, it, it was a good night for, of course, Maddie. Mm -hmm. Didn't even have to play her in the fourth, and she put up 19. Kendall, I think, dished out double-digit assists, which is what she's been doing all year. And then, yeah, we had good showings from our, our post players. We outscored them in the paint. I think it was, it was by – about 40 something to 20 something yeah, we outscored right. them in the paint so mm -hmm. we continue to go into the inside to our big mm -hmm. bigger players and uh and challenge them to livingstone to see if they could guard us right talk about points in the paint 44 points for Lenore Ryan inside the paint area to just 22 for Livingstone so again we were talking about Maddie Sudrath against uh, Anderson on Saturday it's kind of not too difficult to talk about Maddie Sudrid pretty much every time out, but of course a team effort, and again, you had four in double figures tonight. For Maddie, 19 points and six rebounds. So now that you got a big win tonight, you get a couple days off, come back here against UNC Pembroke on uh, Sunday, and kind of gives you a chance to start rounding into form before everybody gets their couple weeks off for uh, the holidays. Yeah, I, I think UNC Pembroke, they're going to be a very good team. They're going to come in and run a lot of sets. Maddie, to go back to what you were saying, yep. what's good about Maddie is she lets me get on her the same amount as other people do. And mm -hmm. so when I can hold her accountable and in a timeout get on her, mm -hmm. it allows me to do it with everyone else. And at the same time, she's she's given us, uh, I think, the first score of the game and the first score of the half, which sets the tone for us. That was nice. Yeah, Maddie Sedrath was all over it tonight. One of the main reasons that Lenore Ryan gets a 96-79 victory and looking to Duplicated on Sunday against UNC Pembroke. As usual, always a pleasure, head coach Cameron Seeley. Congratulations. Appreciate it.